anybody? Question? I have a question. So, I have like a lot of problems with um, separating myself like from the independence of your high hat. Sure. I notice that you do that a lot. Like, right. I, I, it's a crutch for me. I'm, I'm to the point, and that's you. You actually helped me out. That's great too, because that that kind of gives me a chance to use the dry erase board. So I've been dying to do. Um, I, I, I love to think of playing, and again, you guys, I'll get out of your way here so you can try to maybe turn it around. Um, I, I talk about the, this box concept. Anybody that knows me, you know, knows. I, I think of it like I look at my four limbs, you know, I'm thinking about these four points like a box, and I think, okay, combinations of things. So I try and take any you know, common rhythms, like the upper left hand. And again, this now, mind you, this is from my perspective. If you imagine I stick my left hand there, from there, boom, boom. That's kind of how I think of it. Again, you know, like I'm not the sharpest tool in the show, so I have to really break things down. But uh, this idea, you know, if you break any any combination, and the most obvious thing to start with, and again, don't let me go on a total tangent on this. I'll turn this into a half hour clinic. But but the idea, forget what. Well, you know what? Better yet, get away from there. Get away from that thing. Forget these. Okay, so what you got? Okay. Never do that. Try that one. I know I'm the worst now. I've been doing all this like it. Okay, so there's everything together, right? I mean, that's. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be a musician. To, you know, you know, I'm a musician. No, you know, you're just a person and banging with things, right? Okay, <laughs> that idea. Okay, what if what if we what if we've got available to us? There's a bunch of combinations. It depends on how many limbs you want to integrate. And like when you say about splitting yourself, I not only think of it this way, I think of it this way as well. Horizontals, you know, basically, you're thinking everything's moving here. Probably the number one thing before you're dealing with any of that is is can you feel comfortable? For years, I couldn't for the life of me get up and play off the off my heel. I mean, uh, I get my heels up off the floor because I always felt like oh, it's going to fall off the drum stool. And it wasn't until I saw Dave Weckl. How many people know who he is? So, right? Amazing. You know, it's like, yeah, when I do this kind of stuff, I'm like, why am I even doing this? You know, it's I'm not worthy. You see a guy that like that. The guy's forgotten more about drumming than I'll ever know. But <clears throat> that one thing I saw him talk about, and he's a real absolute guy. He's like, you can only do this. And you know, he's softened as I think he's gotten older. At that time he's a pretty opinionated dude because he worked his tail off to be great. You know, I don't blame him. But but I remember him saying, anybody that plays with their heels down, no, you, know, you can't do that. I was like, uh oh. Because I was like, I didn't know how to get up off my heels. Well, he talked, it really helped me. He talked about how he sat on the drum throw. He didn't just sit like in the middle, kind of legs back on here. He sat up, had good posture, thought about kind of just getting up and just bouncing. He didn't think about it. It's not, you're not trying to hold yourself up. You're not trying to do that. It's just the idea of kind of being light on your feet and then allowing to relax every time you're coming down. Every time you drop, just think. It's like it's tension release, kind of, because you have to. There's a certain amount of tension and energy exerted to get the beat your hands up in the air. It's like you see people. You know, I know Toad. I see everyone around here with all this world's fastest drummer stuff. Everyone works on stroke, right? You want to get the stick doing as much work for you as possible. It's the same principles with your body. And forget the implement sticks. Forget the instrument or whatever you're behind. Your command of your body and that that, that distribution. You want to feel comfortable and balanced with all four limbs. I see a lot of this with students. That's great, man. What about that? And they're literally, I've seen a lot of people where it's like an anchor for them. Or the double bass guys that can, cannot use their hi-hat. You know? And you know, I'm an old, I've taught a lot of students. I've probably taught 300 plus. And I'm like, I've got some of that crusty old rah, 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 back in my day. You know, and I, I try not to be that way. But it is, it's it's a thing. Because I, I, at time and again, I beg people, dude, I promise you, if you like, learn to keep time with not just your left foot. Because that's, drum teachers are too, we're too hung up on the drum set. Left foot is for timekeeping. No, so is the right foot. You know, it's again the reggae thing. Any musical style, all those Afro-Cuban music styles. There, man, it's the bass drums, like in all these funky little spots. You know, so it's that's that's a whole different coordination. So to, to really, again, not to go too far on the tangent, I think of that box and right. We had this where everything's together. What if we break things up? What if we say we're going to take our left side and our right side, right? Left, right. Let's all try that. I mean, you know, it's goofy, right? <laughs> but now how many limbs there are we isolating or putting together? Two, Two right? Okay, what if we said three? Now it starts getting interesting. At that point, you're kind of taking, i uh, use my cover. Okay, maybe we're saying left hand, right hand, right foot. Okay, so now, looking at that, we've got horizontal motion, right? But also vertical motion here. We're combining, combining both. You know, I did this, I'm skipping a step. The, the next step would be to go 
Hands together, feet together. Hands together, feet together. Hands together. You make little games out of it. And again, gang, this is why I always laugh at students who tell me oh, I can't practice. Oh, I'll drum set. Give me a break. <laughs> okay? You know, don't tell mom she's got to buy you a thousand dollar drum set just so you can start playing drums. No. And I'm not the guy saying you're going to have to pad first for six years. No, I'm with you. I don't want to do that either. That's boring. You know, you want to go and play. But guess what? This will work. You know, you got a pad, you got one of those little Remo rubber things you just got today, the little uh, buddy pad, put that on something that, you know, mom and dad won't kill you for putting on the thing, you know, banging on. But uh, basically, this idea, we've got, you've got those horizontal motions. By not being at a drum set, you're actually at an advantage because nothing is, you don't think of any one limb as less than the other. The hi-hat is right, it wouldn't, you know, no, sorry, now I'm totally using this as a big tangent, but the hi-hat, wouldn't you say that's kind of like the weakest of the, of the, of the, to you in feeling as an instrument? Anybody? I mean... You guys feel like, I mean, what, what feels strongest on a drum set when you sit down? That big old thing, man. Boom! You don't get a lot of payback from the hi-hat. Chick, 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 chick. You know? I mean, really, you know, it's just not. I, I, I would definitely say to you, that's why I'm a huge fan of double pedals. I think they're really great. I can't use mine worth a donut. I mean, I use it, you see what I'm using it for, for remote. And I've got a, you know, I've got another one I use, but I don't really use it to go do 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 I use it to, just to practice. I sit there and I'll play with my left foot. One, and a two, and a three. Now that's isolating a single limb, unlike what we're doing, about to do here, when we're taking three limbs. But you definitely, most people tend to get caught up in the single limb isolation, and what they call independence, right? I de I've said this before, I always say it in every clinic, I prefer interdependent limbs. They're integrated. They're all one. It's one thought process. So it's like, it's like a great saxophone player doesn't think about, well, my pinky, Okay, then my index finger, then my left hand pick. No, oh, they think about a scale and a form, but they they work the muscle motions that you see a great horn player, you know, sitting there working those hands, you know, or a great piano player. That's the best analogy. They're amazing. I mean, I watch great piano players. It just blows my mind. That in, the independence, and again, or interdependent, would really be the right way to say it. So, with this idea with the four limbs, I like to go from everything together and then start working my way down. And the toughest one is three limbs, and that's what a lot of drum set patterns really are. If you think about it. You know, we maybe have three limbs doing something and a fourth limb that's isolated, as you uh, to tie all this back to the question of the hi-hat. <laughs> but that, with the hi-hat, that is the idea. I know that it's a, it's a fundamental, it, it's my reference point. And so I make, I'm like, everything must be subservient to that. So that left foot is listening big time, you know, in my brain, my little brain, feeble as it may be, is trying to stay with that click and that metronome. As a matter of fact, excuse that one, just real quickly here. I take this. Fast, take all that subdivision out. Okay, I'm just thinking to myself, and that's like 87 beats. I mean, you probably do it even a little slower. I might say to myself, okay, let's take right hand, left hand, left foot, we're gonna go. Just right there. By all means, I would definitely say if you can, I always say if you can say it, you can play it. So maybe, maybe subdivide one and two and three and four and one and three. And I mean, the thing is, commit your body to it. Don't be kind of like, I'm gonna do this. You have to teach your body this is this different motion. Okay? Now, also, to anybody that's talking about technique stuff, I'm doing these real staccato strokes. You don't have to do that. You can go, you can go like that. You know, whatever you feel like doing. The key is we want to make yourself comfortable. We've left that right foot out, right? It's not doing anything. So what if we're doing that subdivision I was doing? Can everyone say one and two and three and four and one and two? Let's make that the, the and the bass one. And 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 and. and and four, and one, cool. Way too fast, I know. Split that in half and actually learn to do that. But watch what I'm going for. I might say one, two, three, four. One E, a two E, a two E, a four E, a one E, a two E, a three E, a four E. I'll take that back to the drum set.